fast break as they turned the ball over here early. But they want to control the tempo and not allow the Lakers to do that. Run the ball up the floor quickly and score. And it is Kurt Rambis, the trailer, who gets the two. Magic Johnson and Norm Nixon. And busting out, and it's two to nothing in favor of the Lakers. Lakers drawing uh, what will probably be the biggest crowd here this year. They expect five figures tonight. Cavaliers have been averaging just a shade over 4,000 per ball game. Kareem Abdul Jabbar is hit with a foul. Last night hit with uh, the reoccurring migraine headache. Did not play in the game against Philadelphia. In the spectrum, a game in which the Sixers won. By two points in overtime, Andrew Tony hit a driving bank shot with five seconds to go. L.A. shot 62% in the ball game and lost. And, of course, they're shooting so well on the year. They're an outstanding shooting team at 53%, the best in the NBA. And actually, Al, they have eight players shooting over 50%. That's magnificent. You know, Pat Riley, Al, one thing he's done such a great job of here, people like Rambis, he lets them have their head. They don't feel restricted by Pat. He's not the type of coach that pulls you by mistake. And he's really done a great job of letting this Laker team have its head, and at the same time, he has kept control. Eight to five. The Lakers lead it by three. Freeze looking for the shot. Lacey, a nice fake, weaving in. Jabbar pulls it down, and here's Magic Johnson. He has some room, three on two, but it's broken up by Jeff Houston. Houston now wheeling out. Jabbar turns him back. Lacey. Sam Lacey. Coming out of retirement to join the Cavaliers and try to help them in the middle. 12 to 11, the score. Lakers lead it. You're not going to tell anyone, huh? Well, I'm not sure. Coach Tom Nasalki. Oh. You knew that. Matter of fact, uh, that was his first coaching job in professional basketball as an assistant for Larry Costello. I'm sure he would like oh, to it? add another ring to that as a head coach. Well, I think it's safe to say it won't be this year. Lacey over Jabbar. It counts, and he is fouled. So Lacey getting the offensive rebound. And Jabbar is called for the foul, and that is number two on Jabbar. Well, here you'll see it again. Lacey taking it back inside, and Kareem getting the foul call on him as Lacey lays the ball in for a potential three-point play. And that's, of course, great strategy for Cleveland if they really did plan it that way. Get the big fella in foul trouble and get him out of the game. He's leaving now. So Jabbar goes out with the two personal fouls, and Bob McAdoo started last night at center against Philadelphia is now in that that middle spot you know last night Cleveland lost to Detroit and in the ball game Lacey and his uh, substitute the man off the bench James Edwards in the middle spot for 40 minutes picked up zero rebounds and even when the Cavs have the ball they don't have it for long so the Lakers will now set up for the first time in a while. They aren't running to the basket. So if nothing else, Cleveland at least accomplished something there. All right, Lacey is back in. James Edwards goes out. More changes for Tom Maselke. Bill Hubbard replaces Scott Wetman, who has been the most effective Cavalier. Wetman goes out with 11 points. Bobby Wilkerson leaves. And World Be Free, who will be the guest of John McLaughlin at halftime, is now back in. Nixon, that quick release, goes to the baseline where, where he likes it so much, and he has a dozen points. And he's one of those players that, that does something you wouldn't normally teach. He leans sideways on his jump shot. That's called flotation. Normally, you don't want to float because it makes the shot a little bit more difficult, but he is really a master at it. I'm amazed at how often Magic Johnson can get to the middle of the lane like he did on that particular play and make the pass. And, of course, he's very capable of taking the shot also. Lacey works it around to Free. And Free goes by Magic and over Rambus. 